What is up, Mathletes? Welcome back to the episode of Math with Dr. Math. And today, we're gonna to talk about how to use that Z-interval calculator program. Don't go anywhere. All right, Mathletes, so word on the street is you wanna know how to find a confidence interval using your TI-84 calculator. So let's talk about this. Let's make this short, sweet, and simple. All right, so all we're gonna talk about today is how to use that program uh, to calculate your answers. And if you want another video talking more about what this process looks like and doing it by hand, let us know and we got you. All right, so first things first, let's look at this example here. So the mean test score for a simple random sample of n equals 100, so first of all, we're gonna highlight that because our n value is 100, all right? So we're gonna put that away. So we have 100 students and the mean there, which is our point estimate is 67.3. So X bar is 67.3. And notice when you're using, uh, when you're trying to find the confidence interval, make sure that this distribution is either, the sample is coming from a normal distribution. And if not, make sure your sample size is at least 30. All right, so make sure uh, you read your textbook so that satisfies one of those two conditions. And of course, simple random sample. So next they tell us that the population standard deviation of test scores is the standard deviation of 15, the population standard deviation. So we're gonna use this program Z interval that I'm gonna walk you through on my calculator here be, um, because this standard deviation comes from the population. In future sections, you're gonna see that you're gonna use a different interval called T interval. And the, the answer to when do I know when to use what program is gonna lie, depending on what type of standard deviation that you're given. So here, make sure that you understand that this is your population standard deviation that's given to you. All right, so let's walk through the program. So let me also highlight that, because that's important. All right, and of course, we're gonna need to know what is our confidence level, which is 98%. All right, so follow me, let's walk towards our calculator. So I got my TI-84 plus Dr. Math Edition. All right, so check it out, Math. You're gonna hit stat, uh, go over to test. So you're gonna go over to test, and we're gonna use Z interval. A lot of people, they pick the wrong program. A lot of people do Z test. We're not running a test here. The question said to construct, right? This question asks us to construct a 98% confidence interval. So we're not running a test. So go ahead and click Z interval, which is choice number seven. Let me go down to seven, hit enter. And notice, use data, make sure data selected if you have the list of information, right? If you have all the data points. Here we don't, we have the statistics. So we're gonna go to stat, go to test. We're gonna go down to Z interval, all right? Z interval, and then again, make sure stats is selected, hit enter. And then our standard deviation, we just plug everything in. So our standard deviation we said is 15. Our mean X bar is 67.3, 67.3. Our N value is 100, so we'll click 100 there. And the confidence interval for this uh, level is 0.98. And then just go ahead and hit calculate, boom. And all that work that we're doing by hand, as you see, it does it for us. So our confidence interval is between 60, let's write this in black, 63.81 and 70.78. Whoa, seven, nine. So if we were to do this a bunch of times, right? Run this experiment a bunch of times, we would see that 98% of the time, the intervals would include that true mean. Because again, we don't know the, the population mean, uh, but if we were to do this enough times, we would see that 98% of those intervals that were created would actually include that mean, all right? So what's awesome is this program here saves us so much work. So if you have to do this by hand, that's great, but now you have a way just to double check to make sure all your calculations were correct. 
All right, Matthew, so this program, it's short, it's sweet, very effective. And again, don't forget where you heard this information. Dr. Math is here to help you out. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you, Math Beats, in that next video. Peace.